Hello everyone. New release of MATLAB R2022A is out with new products and plenty of updates. This will be a short video. And in this video, I will try to show you how to use local solvers in Simlink simulations. Before we start, my name is Vishwa and I work as an application engineer at CES. We are the official channel partners of MathWorks in the Middle East. We all know that Simlink models are solved with a single solver. And sometimes if the subcomponents of the model have different dynamics, then one solver might not fit for the whole model. Because of this, the Simlink simulation accuracy may vary and also the time required for the simulation will increase. To overcome this problem, we can use local solvers in Simlink simulations. Let's consider an example of a DC motor if you look at this example, the DC motor has electrical and mechanical subsystems. The time constant for the mechanical subsystem is more than the electrical subsystem. In this case, if we use one solver for the simulation, then the step size required should be small enough to catch the electrical time constant. This will increase the simulation time. In order to reduce the simulation time, we can use local solvers for the mechanical subsystem. With the help of local solvers, we can speed up simulation by using an inexpensive solver on a subset of the model. Inexpensive, an inexpensive solver could be of a low order solver. For example, using an ODE1 solver instead of ODE3 or using the solver with a larger step size. Choice of solvers and step size represents a trade-off between computational cost and accuracy. A local solver allows you to fine tune this trade-off of different subsections of the model. Let's see this in action. This is MATLAB live script, and I will use this to run the Simlink simulations and plot the simulation results. This is a Simlink model of the DC motor. It has electrical and mechanical subsystems. The solver information can be seen here. The solver in this case is ODE3 with a fixed step solver and step size of 2e power minus 7. Let's run this and observe and let's observe the results and the total time taken for the simulation. We can see that the time taken for the simulation is 5.43 seconds, and this is the output of the simulation. Now let's turn on the local solver. The local solver, uh, to turn on, you have to check this, apply, and you can see the solver here. The local solver will be OD3. You can also choose another solver. And then the fixed step size is 0 0.02. Click OK. And here you can see this local solver is on ODE3. And step size is 0 0.02. And I'm using input signal handling as zero order hold and output signal handling as zero order hold. Let's run this simulation and see the time, simulation time and the output of the simulation. Here we can see. The simulation time is now 2.6 seconds. It has almost become half compared to the previous simulation and the output is in the form of step. Let's change the input handling and output handling for the local solver. Let's change it to auto and this to use solver interpolant. And now let's run the simulation again. And let's observe what will be the time required for the simulation and the output of the simulation. So here the output of the simulation, uh, time required for the simulation is 3.4 seconds. And this is little more than the previous simulation, but it is better than the initial simulation with the global solver. But if you see the output of the simulation, in this case, it is much better. 
we use zero order holding option in the input signal handling and output signal handling parameter to achieve lowest computational cost and improve stability of the local solver at a given step size. And the same way we use output input signal handling option to apply extrapolation and, and we use uh, use solver interpolant output signal handling option to apply interpolant to potentially improve accuracy. And if we see the final plot, it compares three simulation results. The figure shows the position step response of a DC motor when voltage is applied to the terminal and the motor starts to rotate. The smooth blue curve is a baseline. The orange step curve shows the result of using local solver and zero order hold input output data handling. This strategy samples the input and output of the mechanical components with a sample rate of 2e power minus 3. And the local solver integrates its states with this step size. This strategy works well in this example. Uh, as a result, generated is fairly close to the baseline performance. The local solver using auto and uh, use solver interpolant is a low curve. Compared to the zero order hold strategy, this simulation result is even better. The orange line is smooth and close to the baseline. So this ends the video of using local solvers. Thank you for joining me and let's see you in the next video. Bye-bye.